Hey guys, so in today's video we are going to be talking about two very buzzed about, very hyped up products here in the beauty community. And I am of course talking about the Bioderma Makeup Removing Micellar Solution and the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water that everyone has been talking about lately here on YouTube. I have used these both quite a bit. As you can see, I'm getting low on this bottle and this is my second bottle of Bioderma. So we're going to kind of be comparing them a little bit and I'm also going to talk about whether or not I think the Simple Micellar Water is is a dupe for Bioderma because that is something that a lot of people have been saying lately. So the first big question is what is micellar water and it is basically like a special form of cleanser. How you use them is you pour a little bit onto a cotton pad and you swipe them over your face and your eyes and you can use them to remove makeup or just to kind of cleanse your face quickly if you're not wearing makeup too and you basically don't have to rinse them off afterwards. And a little bit about how they work to kind of shorten this answer and not go too much into the science of it. Micelles are basically little clusters of of surfactant molecules and surfactant molecules are found in basically any products that kind of like lather or bubble up like shampoos, soaps, detergents, things like that. Some surfactants can be quite irritating to the skin. For instance, if you wash your face with like a bar of soap or like a laundry detergent, it's obviously going to be quite irritating and inflammatory. So these products contain that more gentle form of surfactant called micelles and micelles basically act like little magnets that kind of draw in like dirt and oil and makeup that has been building up on your skin throughout the day or as you sleep. So a little bit about the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water first. Simple, as it kind of implies in the name, is formulated without like harsh chemicals. It's also paraben free, fragrance free, and it's dermatologist tested and also hyperallergenic and non-comedogenic as well. And this is from their more hydrating range. So it is meant to be a little bit more moisturizing for the skin. And this also is made with triple purified water. So it removes any kind of like mineral deposit that's typically found in water that can be irritating to your skin skin and it also has vitamin B3 which is really good for dry skin and also vitamin C as well which is antioxidant rich which is an antioxidant I should say and it's also can be brightening for your skin so as now well. the Bioderma makeup removing micelle solution this one is parabens free alcohol free fragrance free fragrance free fragrance free and hypoallergenic and also says it is dermatologist grade and it is meant for sensitive skin they do have another micellar water that comes in green and blue packaging that's meant more for like oily acne prone skin and more for like pure I'm going to try that one next, but this is the one that everybody talks about. And this claims that it helps to restore your skin's hydrolipidic film, which is basically your skin's natural protective barrier, which is obviously very important. And it's also meant to soothe irritation on your skin as well. So the main point of this video and the main question is, is the simple micellar water, the drugstore version, a dupe for the more expensive Bioderma? And to be honest, I do think it is a dupe, not 100%, but I think they are similar enough to be considered a dupe, but there is some definite differences from it. And the main complaint that I hear with the simple water is that I hear people say that they feel like it doesn't really remove any kind of heavier makeup. They find, like I've heard a lot of people say that they only like it for like mornings when they don't really want to wash their face, like fully wash their face just to be kind of quick or when they're wearing lighter makeup. You guys know I wear pretty heavy duty coverage foundation and I personally had no issues with this removing my makeup at the end of the day. So it goes to show you can't really listen to every negative review you say. Sometimes you really just have to try them out for yourself and see what you think. Cause I heard that and I almost did not try it but I decided just to see for myself. However, I find with the Bioderma, it does remove my makeup a little bit more easy. Like it's a little bit more effortless with the simple. I have to kind of um, like rub a little bit more with my cotton pad. I'm not like, scrubbing at my face really aggressively or anything, but it does take a little bit more work. This one's just kind of like a little bit more effortless, I guess you could say. Neither of these products sting my super sensitive eyes, so that is awesome. And I find they'll remove any normal mascara really well. If I'm wearing something more heavy duty, like they're real or like a waterproof mascara, I will go in with a different eye makeup remover and then just use this for my, use either one of these for my face makeup. If I do use one of these for like their real or waterproof mascara, I find it will leave a little bit of residue. And while these do both do a great job removing my face, makeup they don't get everything off I'm a firm believer that one step will never remove all your makeup like even when I'm using like a cleansing oil makeup wipe cleansing water no matter what I'm using I always follow up with a regular cleanser afterwards and that's honestly just a really good practice to get into to make sure you're really removing everything before you go to bed it only takes an extra minute to go ahead and thoroughly cleanse your skin afterwards it, it doesn't take like hardly any extra time at all and it is definitely worth it because while we sleep our skin does regenerate and 
it's really crucial to the anti-aging process as well to make sure you're really getting all your makeup off. So that's just a quick tip. One thing that I do find is that my skin does look a little bit better when I am using Bioderma on a regular basis compared to the simple micellar water. It just has kind of like a certain kind of clarity to my skin. Like it's a little bit smoother and a little bit brighter and it just looks a little bit better. It's a very subtle difference though, it's nothing huge. I'm not saying this makes my skin look bad by any means, I just noticed my skin looks a little bit better when I use this. So now one thing I really wanted to include in this video is a little bit of a price breakdown so we can talk a little bit about the size versus the value and everything between these two products because a lot of people think that Simple is automatically a much cheaper, more affordable alternative to Bioderma just because it has a lower price tag, but it is quite a bit smaller than the Bioderma 500 ml bottles. So if you are Canadian and you buy these products at Shoppers Drug Mart like I do. The Simple is $10 for 198 ml. We'll just round up to 200 and say 200 ml. And then this bottle of Bioderma is 500 ml and it is $27 Canadian prices once again. So two and a half bottles of the Simple Micellar Water is the equivalent of one of these bottles of Bioderma. So if you were to buy two and a half bottles of this, your total would be $25. So really it's only $2 cheaper when you're buying this instead. And keep in mind, I am only comparing this to the 500 mil it's obviously going to be a better deal if you buy the 250 mil size but honestly this is a better value if you're going to buy bioderma get this size so yeah you're really only actually saving two dollars between these two in the u.s the prices end up working out to be um I think you save $2.50 instead. So there's really not that big of a difference. Simple in US prices is $7 from the Target website. And then I looked on Beautylish and they sell the 500ml bottle for $20. So yeah, the price difference, like I said, ends up being about $2.50. Keep in mind for the US prices, I'm not factoring in like shipping if you have to pay for that or anything. I'm just doing the prices of just the products on their own. So yeah, that's just something that I thought was interesting because when I bought this, I was immediately like, oh, it's so much cheaper than Bioderma. I wonder if it's going to be really similar. But then when I kind of broke that down and thought about the price versus the value, it's really not that big of a difference. So if you're going for this in the mindset that you don't really want to splurge on Bioderma, just keep in mind that it's really not that big of a price difference. I also do find that I am burning through this a lot faster than I do with Bioderma because I find I have to use a little bit more. So yeah, to sum up, I do think the Simple is a dupe for Bioderma. Bioderma is still probably my favorite though, just for the kind of reasons that I just stated, those kind of subtle differences that make it like a little bit better in my mind. But yeah, that kind of wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.